So this is a video on how I went from this to this. Hi everybody, welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience with the Chloe Ting two week short challenge. So in February, I actually started her abs video and I just wanted to tone up for my birthday but I wasn't really paying attention too much to doing it consistently and looking at the results that much but since then I've been eating really badly and it's been hard to lose the weight I'm sure many people can relate to this I didn't go into this challenge wanting to just lose weight I actually just wanted to see what it was all about because I'd seen some videos beforehand but there weren't that many um, explaining their results and I thought why not give it a shot so one of the things I've always wanted to do is get abs and this is so hard and even when I swam back in high school I never had abs that showed right when the quarantine started I ordered myself a yoga mat because I noticed working out on the floor was really bad for your back especially me I have really bad back pains um, and it just doesn't feel good and I really suggest using a yoga mat if you have one at home just to minimize the pressure from your joints and she also gives low impact options so there were some exercises I decided to do low impact just because I didn't want my knees to be hurting or ankles yeah so just keep that in mind um, and if you don't have a yoga mat you can definitely just use a towel so I've also included some of the clips from my workout so that you guys can see what kind of workout it looks like um, I've only included my favorite exercises in her workout because um, some of them I wasn't too big of a fan of if that makes sense I also think I look like a, f a wailing penguin or something like that Keep me where the light is, keep me where the bright is To let me show me where the ride is I've been on a low side, I've been on a high side Like I need to get out, find me in a high side Get out of the Wi-Fi, get out of the timeline I don't need a limelight, like, just a line of my time Take me to that real life, take me for a lifetime I've been in the dark for way too long Will you keep me where the light is? Keep me where the light is Keep me where the light is hey, Keep me where the light is Will you keep me where the light is Keep me where the light is Will you keep me where the light is Keep me where the light is Give me that earth and breeze Rolling down the window, 82 degrees All my problems chasing me Does that even make sense? How could a shark be in a gym? It a needs water. I just did bicycle crunch. Oh my gosh, my sweat. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. I've actually taken, I think, like a week off. I started noticing like my abs were going away and I, I was like, I worked so hard for this, you know, like what happened? And I think to maintain your results, it's really important to at least try to get in an ab exercise every other day. Um, otherwise, the results can just disappear. At the end of the challenge, I did a weigh-in and I was at around 62.2, but a little bit beforehand, I was 61.1, I believe. Um, so yeah, I did lose four pounds. I was 64.3 before quarantine 
Um, so yeah, that was one of the good things that came out of this. I'm not saying that it's good to be focusing on weight too much, but it's definitely good to be turning fat into muscle. As the challenge started to come to an end, I started noticing that there was like this kind of a shape. I'm doing it, I'm doing a really bad job. This shape to my body, um, I usually don't focus on that too much, but that was one of the things that actually happened for me. So I think that's kind of cool. And I noticed my ab area starting to get a little bit more toned, which is what I was hoping for when I started this challenge. Here's my thoughts on the challenge. If you really want quick results, and I guess stronger results, um, definitely eat a little bit, try to eat a little bit healthier and try to drink a little bit more water than you normally would. During this challenge, I did try to eat a little bit more healthy and plant-based and I did notice the results were there, but then I actually started like not caring and started eating like goldfish. Hi guys, I'm editing right now, surprising. Um, yeah, I forgot to include a clip that I can't seem to find. Just wanted to say, if you guys feel like eating a brownie, go ahead and treat yourself. You can definitely indulge during this challenge or in, or life in general. Um, yeah, it's really important to love yourself or try to at least love yourself. Um, and anyway, in doing so, just do it. Uh, <laughs> that sentence made no sense. Also, don't feel pressured to follow her schedule perfectly. Um, you can definitely schedule around menstrual cycles because I know those can be a pain. Or even if you're feeling sick or ill, definitely take a break if you need to. Anyways, I'll let you guys get back to my long video and I'll see you guys soon. And I think one of the things about this workout is that it really works. One, you can see by like all the videos that everyone's been posting it actually works two it's only 14 days which is like nothing in quarantine like two weeks that is just, it just flies by and three i wouldn't say it's that difficult but i also wouldn't say it's that easy you can definitely get a good sweat in and it really builds up your core even though you're just using a mat which is crazy and lastly towards the middle slash end of the challenge um, it definitely started to get a little bit more manageable, especially those up and down, yeah, those up and downs um, that everyone hates. I think fitness is definitely important and it's kind of fun to watch sometimes. You might find yourself watching one or two Chloe Ting videos. So anyways, if you guys want to see more fitness related videos, please comment in the comment section down below. Please give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oof. Why is that showing? I don't like that. Uh, what are you going to say?